Welcome to episode 10 of the Survival Let's Play. Today is going to be oh so much fun. I have looked forward to this episode since the day we started. As you guys know, if you have been watching the series, today is download day. So meaning everything that happens during the video, well not during the video, everything that happens, well everything that's already made after this video is up, pretty much means that, whatever, well anything that I have on the world um, from this video and plus everything else, you guys will be able to play. And that makes me very happy to say, because I want you guys to play this world. And um, if you guys do follow me on Twitter, um, show me some creations that you guys might have on my save that you might like me to use. And I will shout you guys out or whatever. Obviously, I'm not a big channel, but still. And uh, I don't know. It just makes me happy knowing that we're already on our 10th episode of the Let's Play. And today is a very... Today is... A decently big project I have planned so first I got a very good comment recently from a person named Justinception so I'm gonna put his name on the subscriber well the subscriber garden and he had put and I'm gonna put a little hold on I'm a, out of one of these because I love this comment so much. Um, at that, I'm a, he's gonna have his own sign for himself. Because he put, Hey, it's me crazy. I love your video. Keep it up. You will be a phenomenal YouTuber. I can feel it in my heart. I want to start, I want to start making my own channel great. I watched your videos and they are, and for some reason I couldn't see the rest of the comment. But that was pretty much about it. And I put, his name on the subscriber well the subscriber garden because I've never gotten a comment like that before and honestly it did mean a lot to me to see that somebody actually loves my well loves my videos and they and they think that you know I could go far with this channel so just inception if you're watching this video thank you very much and I hope you do extremely well with your channel whatever content it might be but I hope you succeed in what you want to do and that you have a lot of fun with it so now let's get to this oh that is weird wait nope my game's on let me quickly um reload my save and I'll get right back to you guys so today for the project that we will be doing which you guys pretty much already know from the title and I've told you guys before, we're going to be working on the windmill. And there is going to be a lot of building, and definitely a lot of scaffolding. That's why I have plenty of dirt in my inventory. And um, obviously a lot of digging. But uh, first off, let me put these crops into here. And then what we can do from that, let me quickly put that right there. Let me run down to my storage room. And... Uh, Whoa, okay. <clears throat> Let me quickly run down to my storage room. And I already have the supplies ready for uh, the, well, the video for today. Let me run down here. And let me go through here. And right over here, as you guys can tell, the beautiful storage cellar. And uh, right up here, I have all the materials we're going to need for today. It doesn't look like a lot, but believe me, it is going to look beautiful. So, let's grab all this right here. Let me put that right there. And because these are all the blocks I've counted, obviously, obviously you don't see the extra wood because I already have the frame built. But I already have all the blocks counted for uh, today's video. Because I had already pre-built it onto a creative version of the save, which is what I do with all my saves to make sure it works. Because obviously I don't want to go without planning. But uh, anyway, let's head back up here. Let's close the entrance to our underground bunker. And um, first up, as you guys can see, I did some, some, well, 
I made the place look better. Obviously, I told you guys I wasn't kidding when I said I'm going to make at least as much as I can make the save look good for when you guys download it today. Or whenever you're watching this. It could be a year from now. I don't know. But, uh, pretty much, um, I didn't add much right here, but I cleaned up this little bit right here and added a little bench so you can just sit down, you know, drink a nice cup of tea or some lemonade, enjoy the sun, and, uh, you know. But, um, and if you're wondering about this, these are actually sea pickles, which, um, is a part of the aquatic update. You can't see the little text at the top of my screen, but that's because I have, um, a resource pack on where it gets rid of that. And, um, I cleaned up the area, added some coarse dirt around the place, and a, a few custom trees. And as the series goes along, I'm going to be adding quite a bit of custom trees. Even some spruce custom trees up there when I start making builds up there. But, uh, quickly, let me, uh, head to bed and we shall start our very big project and beautiful project in the morning. So, now, let's quickly head up here. And if you guys want to follow along with the build, um, you obviously, of course, you can. But, uh, let me quickly put this right here. Then let me bring as much of this as I can. Well, down here. And I'm not going to need my axe out. Well, I mean, I could, but I don't. I'm going to put this right there. And uh, I forgot one thing. Let me go create some, uh, some, what did I forget? Let's see, I'm going to need about, I'm going to need about eight of, um, the oak stairs. I mean, not oak, um, cobble stairs. And let's make some of that. Let's just turn it all into, you know, back up. And, uh, so if you guys pretty much want to see how this is all put together, obviously you can follow along and build in your own save. And, uh, you know, you do, you do what you want. So, starting from here, we're going to place two right here. And then, obviously, we're going to replicate that on all four sides. And once we do that, we are going to... Let me add the last two right here. You're going to place it twice more along um, the upper sides, but upside down. you got to remember that. And pretty much from right here, once you place the last two, you're going to want to pull out your spruce wood slabs and then place it right here. Obviously, of course, on the bottom half of the middle log. Then you're going to do that on all four sides, pretty much. And from here, what you're going to want to do... Um, okay, from here, place these four, and, uh, well, obviously I don't have everything I need for this build, but, um, I'm grabbing the main things right now, like the main part of the build. Now grab your oak walls, place these along the sides, and from here, grab your stone brick slab. Uh, of course, bring it across. And right here. And right here. So, now that you did that, you're obviously, you're going to want to go to the next level. So, place the block right here. And from here, place uh, well, a stair right here on the side. And then place this right there. So then go on to the other side. Place the other two, of course. And then... Oops. And then from here, you gotta remember, you have to have a little bit of space right there. So you can still see the log. And then... Yeah, from here. Obviously, again, like I said, mo most of this is repetitive. So it's gonna, you know, it's gonna be on all sides. Except the front, which is going to have the little propeller to, you know, to make it the windmill that it will be. And 
right over here okay that's good now grab your cobblestone stair place it along right here walk over to this side place it along right there over here and again over here and then after you're done placing these which I will be done right now what you're going to want to do um, pull out your fences and then place them along right here place them along right here right here and about here so then what you're going to want to do if it can actually be placed no it cannot you're going to place a piece of dirt right here and then place it right there then get rid of that dirt then you're going to want to do the same to the other side so because this one is taking a bit longer because obviously actual blocks you have to place I'll get right back to you guys once I have it on all four sides. So, now that you guys have placed that, you're going to want to place a log, well not a log, but a stair right there. A stair right there. Going to want to come on to this side. And then place one right here. Place one right there. And then you're going to want to walk over to this side. And then place one right here, place one, oh, because I don't want to place it in the wrong way, place one right there, and then come back over to this side, and then the last one, place one right there, and place one right here. So, then, as you can see, the build's already coming along quite nicely, so then you're going to want to build your way up here, and from here, going to want to pull out your slabs squat down to make sure you don't fall place one on the sides and one right there and then um you don't place anything right here or else you know I, i'll tell you but um then from right here you're going to want to hop onto this side then place it right there so that it adds you know an extra little roof type on top of it so now that you've placed that come up here well if you're still up there uh, then you know just stay there then from here what you're going to want to do pull out your um your cobblestone wall then you're going to want to place it on these sides, right here. So, from here, because it's pretty much impossible to go through from here now, you're going to want to run inside through here. Oh, I forgot some slabs to place. Place one right there. Go back in. And place one right here. Then, now that you did that, you're going to pull out your oak stairs place one right there go inside well obviously of course place one right here you're going to want to place them on all four sides so you know and right there and right here so now that you did that this is the hard part so now that you already gotten this already completed Now, the the more time-consuming part, you're going to want to. I know I'm mining this with um, a shovel. <clears throat> Let me quickly see if I can head to bed, so that you know the rain, the ugly rain, can be gone. Yes, I can. Good, good, good. Now, what you're gonna want to do? This is where the main scaffolding takes place. So, over here, you're going to come up here, and as you can see, 
um, the stairs that we have up there, we're going to need to place our spruce stairs on the sides of them. So, in order to be able to do that, let's come right here and build our way up. Now, with that, put one on the sides, of course. And then, from right here, because this is pretty much going to be, you know, the main part. So, as you're up here, place a stair right there. And right there. And now that you did that, you're going to want to go back down. And do it on all four sides. So, once you guys do that when i will do that and i'll get right back to you guys i'll show you the next step after i do that okay once you've done that place it on the sides right here we'll place it along the sides um put it at the sides of each of the stairs and after you do that And after you've done that, place a stair right here, and then a stair right right here, and then you're going to do that on all four sides, obviously. Okay, after you've placed all of these, now you're going to want to place one more right here. One right here. So then from here, Thank goodness I have this in here. You're going to want to... Ooh, that could have ended badly. You're going to want to fill this space in like that. And now that you did that, grab your slabs. And where the... On the stair block on the bottom half, place a slab. And sorry if you hear me sniffling. Um, I am sick. So, you know. But... Yeah, place that right there, and alright, last one right there. So now that you did that, you're going to want to go, I like that, that, out, out, and then from here, you're going to want to go out like this. Or no, no, not like that. I want to go out like this. And then run over to this side. Go out like that. Go over to this side over here. And again, um, very repetitive for this build. So once you do that, once you have it on all four sides, you're going to want to, no, not like that. No, I did that on the, yeah, of course I did. Um, okay. So, now that you've done that, um, you, you can just put the log normally by itself or whatever, but me, I'm going to add a little extra bit right here. And now, that should be good. Now let me quickly get rid of this extra dirt. 
Um, it'll despawn after a bit, so even if you said I can't collect it ever. But now. Let me get rid of this. And now, as you guys can see, the beauty of this is almost done. But now, going from the inside, wait, hold on. I'm gonna go to super quick and I'll get right back to you guys. Okay, so it is daytime. Now, as you can see, the items I have in my hotbar is what we're going to need now for this next part of it. So, oh, RC and the dirt, because you know, more scaffolding. So now, let's head up here. And where is it? Yes, right here. You're going to want to place two logs. And then you go out, two, three. Because from here, Wait, no, is it three or four? Hold on, let me quickly think. So, that's going to be... Okay, so it is going to be four. And... Yeah, you're going to want to place one more, which is going to be right there. And then you're going to go out like this. This. And then... Now see when, let me quickly go to the top, and let me place one right here, there you go, and let me place one right here. So, now, this is going to be the tricky-ish part, right here, because, okay, we're going to need to add two to each side. So let's quickly place that. Place that. No. You don't want to. Let me place it right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. No. Apparently you don't know how to. Right there. Right there. Yeah, there you go. So now let me bring the dirt up here. If I can. No, it's not what I'm trying to do. Let me bring this up here, and let me place that right there. So, from that, pretty much, um, I'll add the second part later, but that won't really be seen. But now, this is the main part. So, from here, we're going to go up one, which right there. And then, from right here, you're, huh, how's this going to work? Oh, yeah, because it's going up one, you're going to go like this. It's going to go up one, of course. And once you've done that, this is when you're going to have to go back down. So let me quickly head down there, without falling, of course. And let me break this block right here. So, as you can see, we have the extra blocks right there. So this one's going to have to go down and then this one to the right. So, in order to do that, obviously, we're going to have to jump up, place that. And then this log, place not like that. And this log, we place like that. And then get rid of that right there and the last block right here and go up like that down like that and then get rid of that dirt block and then now this is where the hard part comes well not really that hard at all but um you can yeah for this you can just place a piece of dirt or whatever and uh, if you can reach it, you're going to go like that. Yeah. So, now, we have this finished. Obviously not entirely, again. But, now what I want to do. So, on these, place some slabs. 
and then right here build your way up just to add a tiny bit more detail you're going to want to let's see that one's right there so this one's going to be placed right here place that like that and let me get rid of the scaffolding oh wait no do i have to though oh yeah yeah i'm pretty much gonna have no other way to do it so uh, um let me jump down here and now let me take down this dirt and as you can see it's adding a tiny bit more detail and then now we have to go up to this block. Let's place some scaffolding. And from here, you're going to go like this. And then out like that. And then last bit. Place them out like this. Go up. And this spot right here, it's just as simple as one, two. And then you are pretty much done for that. So. That's not all I'm going to be doing for this one though. I'm going to be adding a little farm area. Like, um, well obviously like I had said. So I'm going to, no, I'm going to do it with spruce fence. I'm going to go grab some spruce fence. And, uh, I'll get back to you guys. Um, oh, wait, quickly, quickly. The last last bit of fences so let me place them right here right here 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 and here so oh and I have these two open up because you know I'm gonna be going through here to be able to access the farm so you know and let me quickly go make some uh, some well, spruce fence, and, you know what, no, I've used enough dark, I'm going to use some of this, and, uh, I'll get back to you guys when I have all of it placed down, uh, yeah, uh. so, I have now placed the fences, and now, what I can do, let me quickly... Yeah, I'm gonna look for some spots. Yeah, sorry, Pig, you're not really supposed to be in here. So. Yeah, that was uh, kind of smart, you know. But uh, anyway, um, oh, this crafting table, let me quickly place it in here. And I can use this to make a door. Well, three doors. And let me put this in here. The, the, are you serious right now? Are you serious? That's not going to make it any better for you. So let me place this in here. Open like that. Place that right there. And... Now... Yeah. So let me go into... No, okay. I don't need to do that. Okay. Now that we've added the fences, we're, we're going to have to, you know find some different spots. Um, I have some lily pads in my, um, in my little storage area. Anyway, oh no, I need to place one right there. So let's place one right here. And place one right here. Let's go over here, place one right here. Go over here, place one right there. Let me grab that piece of dirt and go over here. Wait, no, place one right there. And obviously, one in the direct center. And now that we've done that, we are going to need to grab a couple buckets of water. So, because I'm too lazy to, I'm going to create some buckets right here. And I think I'm only going to need about two. Or, yeah, no, I'll just do five. 
Um, let me quickly run over here to the uh, pond. And now, quickly run over here to our beautiful automatic um, sugarcane farm. Place them right there. Two, three, four, five. And I'm gonna make it um, an infinite water source so I don't have to keep coming back. But uh, now, let's run up here and go through here. Let's place our first three buckets. Let me place that. Let me put this on right here. And let me place that right there. And place this one right here. And let me put that right here. Now, these two buckets of water, for now, because, I mean, it is going to be filled in with, um, with spruce, well, spruce, spruce planks. Let me put the, let me put this right here. And fill these two buckets. Now I need to place one right there. And right there. And let me run back inside. Grab one from there. Right there. And place it right there. And I think last one. Let me check around to make sure there's no other ones to fill in. I think that's good. Uh, yeah, so now if I do have some, okay, yeah, I do. Let me dig out a little bit right here. And, well, just, you know, just to be on the safe side, let me add some cobblestone along here. Just so that, you know, as you're stepping out, you don't go straight onto the thing. So, um, I'm gonna use the hoe and, like, you know, um, clear all this out, and I'll, uh, get right back to you guys. So, as you guys can see, um, I finished, um, clearing out the little space with the, uh, the, well, the hoe. And now, let me run over here, and I need to do one quick thing to make sure I am fully prepared for, um, for the survival. Well, the, well, the download, I mean. And let me go into here. I'm going to need about three stacks of this. And quickly, be so I don't forget, let me run over to the auto farm real quick. Or the automatic um, sugarcane farm. And let me place this right here. And let me use the shovel. Place that right there. And that looks good. Great. Uh, let me go out like that. Yeah, that's a lot better. Okay, now, let me run over here. And, um, I don't need to let it all grow on camera. I can easily use, um, a bunch of bone meal to do that from the mob, mob grinder. And, um, it, it'll, it'll all be ready by the time the, the video's up and the download's ready and all that. But, uh, yeah. So. As... As I'm um, making this or placing this down, um, again, I want to thank you guys for um, all the support recently on the uh, channel. And I know I keep saying this at every, but it's because I actually truly do mean it. Um, especially lately, all the views and, well, even though barely any comments, it's been more comments than I've ever had. And, you know, for a little bit, you know, for a tiny bit of comments, that's a lot to me. Um... But yeah, still, you guys are really, you know, making me glad to to be making YouTube videos. And obviously this will be the, obviously the last video for this weekend. Until next weekend where I do episode 11 and 12 and all that. Oops, didn't mean to do that. But uh, anyway, um, I hope you guys do enjoy this um, survival. And, you know, if you do enjoy it, you can download it and play it for yourselves. But, uh, still. Um, anyway. So, yeah. Uh, again, like I said, I just wanted to thank you guys. And, honestly, I love how this survival is coming along right now. 
I'm having, again, so much fun with it. I still have many, many, many more builds that I have planned to make for this. And creations and farms and all that. And, um, obviously more exploring and everything. But, uh, yeah. So, again, yeah. So, if you guys did enjoy this video, um, make sure to, uh, leave a like and, uh, subscribe if you guys do or if you guys are loving the series and uh, let me know let me know down in the comments if the link worked uh, i'm gonna try it out for myself but it might not work for everybody and um one rule though in order to play the survival you um you need to to be in beta for the download to work and after this video well, it's going to be in this video at the very end. I'm just going to show you a quick little thing. Um, This is only for Android. I don't know about you iOS players or whatever. Um, I don't know how it would work for iOS. But I can show you for like Google Play and all that. How easy it is to become part of the beta. So that you can play this world. And uh, yeah. So, like I said. If you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure to leave a like and uh, subscribe. And um... Yeah, I had a lot of fun. This was a very, very big project for the episode. And, um, yeah, just let me know what you guys think. And, uh, you know, you guys are going to be able to play this on your phone or tablet or Windows 10 computer, whatever, however you guys want to play it. But, uh, anyway, yeah. So, this is me signing off for the weekend. And uh, I'll see you wonderful people next time. Bye-bye. Have a great day. <clears throat> so, if you guys, if, um, well, let me show you how to go into beta. So, you're going to want to um, search up, obviously, Minecraft. And then click on it. And then in this little area, you're going to want to scroll to the very bottom. And then right here, it, it already says I'm a beta tester because clearly I am. But um, it, it'll give you an option to join in this little box right here. And then it'll say in a couple minutes that it'll um, well, like pretty much back out of this little thing. So after you click on join, back out of it. Click on it and then it'll give you the option to update your game. And um, if that doesn't work for you... Then I'm going to put a link in the description along with the download for the map. And um, you can do it through there. And it'll show you, well, it's pretty simple what to do from there.